Tonight is the night of 8th of Muharram. Abbas treated Hussein like his master. Hussein knew Abbas was like their father, Ali, a brave and strong warrior. He would tell Abbas, My brother Abbas, keep your sword in its place. Don't take your sword out to fight. Patience, Abbas, patience. When Yazid's men pulled out Hussein's tents from the riverbank, Abbas became very angry. He pulled out his sword and wanted to fight there and then. Hussein said, No, Abbas, no. We have not come here to fight, Abbas. Imagine a warrior like Abbas asked not to pull his sword out after being treated so badly. One by one, Hussein's companions went to the battlefield and were martyred. Every time a body was brought to the tent, Abbas went to Hussein and said, Master, now allow me to go to the battlefield. Let me go and fight those beastly men, master. Every time, Hussein calmed Abbas down by saying, No, Abbas, no. Abbas walked to Hussein's tent several times and back again. How could he persuade Hussein to let him go? Abbas wants permission to fight. Just then, little Sakina, with her mashk, came to Abbas. Sakina is very thirsty, Uncle Abbas. Abbas thought of a way to get permission from Hussein. He picked up little Sakina and went to Hussein's tent. Abbas sat in front of Hussein with Sakina on his lap. Hussein looked at Abbas and then at Sakina and her mashk. Go and fill Sakina's mashk with water. One request. Abbas, leave your sword with me. You're just going to get water for Sakina. Abbas gave his sword to Hussein. Abbas then went to Zainab. Sister Zainab, give me permission to go to the battlefield. Abbas went to the battlefield. In one hand, Abbas carried the alam of Hussein's army, and in the other he held a spear and Sakina's mashk. He had no sword to fight, but had a spear for protection. They had seen Abbas fight and knew he was like his father, Ali. Abbas reached the river and filled Sakina's mashk. The horse looked towards Hussein's camp and seemed to say, Master, are you sure that the water will reach Sakina? Master, how can I drink when Sakina and Ali Asgar are thirsty? Let us first give them water, and then I will drink some. Abbas, with his alam in one hand and his spear and Sakina's water-filled mashk in the other, rode back. Umar Saad, Yazid's commander, ordered his men to stop. Abbas taking water to Hussein's tents. Abbas gripped the mashk with his teeth as his arm and spear fell to the ground. Another soldier came and struck his sword into Abbas's other shoulder. Another soldier came and struck his sword into Abbas's other shoulder. Imagine, Abbas on his horse, no arms, holding Sakina's mashk between his teeth. Water must reach Sakina. Sakina's mashk is still filled with water. It hit Sakina's mashk. Poor Abbas lost all his strength as the water poured out from Sakina's mashk. He fell from his horse and cried out, Master, come to me. Master, let me see you for the last time. Hussein heard Abbas. With his hands on his back, he cried out, Son, Ali Akbar, my back is gone. Hussein and Ali Akbar rushed to the battlefield. Hussein saw his brother lying on the ground. Imagine how Hussein felt when he saw his brother lying on the ground, covered with blood, both arms severed. My brother Abbas, can I do anything for you? Yes, master. Now, as I am going from this world, master, I would like to see your face for the last time. Imam Hussein cleaned Abbas's eyes. Abbas gazed at Hussein. 